Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Anthony Miles and Boris Spassky. This extremely beautiful chess game was played in Montilla in 1978. And where is Montilla? Montilla is a town and municipality in southern Spain. Anthony Miles had white pieces and he started d4. Boris Spassky played knight to f6, knight to f3, b6, c4, e6, white to move. Anthony Miles played bishop to f4. This is not the most played move in this position. Some call it anti Nimzo Indian variation. The game continued. Bishop to b7, e3, bishop to e7, white to move, knight to c3 comes to mind, or bishop to e2. Anthony played h3, so if knight goes to h5, bishop goes to h2. Boris Spassky, castle kingside, knight to c3, d5, c takes on d5, e takes on d5. Perhaps better was knight takes on d5, and after knight takes, bishop takes. And now if bishop to d3, then bishop to b4 check. Okay, in the game you have e takes on d5. Bishop to d3, c5, Anthony Miles, castle kingside, knight to c6, knight to e5, c4, attacking the bishop and gaining the space on the queen side, bishop to c2, a6, intending b5, white to move, perhaps a4 comes to mind, but Anthony Miles, had aggressive intentions. He played g4. Mm. b5. g5. Anthony has burned his boats and goes for an all out attack. Not afraid of his opponent, former world chess champion Boris Paski. Knight to e8, queen to g4, g6, rook from a to d1, knight to g7, h4, bishop to b4, perhaps b4 was a better move. We have bishop to b4, and now very interesting move, knight to d7, bishop to c8, pinning the knight. So if knight goes to f6, queen takes knight, and after queen takes bishop, queen to e6, and black is better. Anthony capture the pawn on d5, king to h8, knight from 5 to f6, rook to a7, more pressure on the knight, but miles has horses for courses, d5, knight to e7, bishop to e5, aiming at Black King. Rook captures the knight on d7. White move. How would you continue? Perhaps knight takes rook comes to mind. But then queen takes knight. And after queen to d4, rook to g8. And black is doing well.
So, Anthony Miles didn't capture the rook. He played a surprise move. H5. Perhaps this is a move that Boris didn't see coming. Rook takes on d5. Queen to f4. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook. Queen to a5. Black is better materially. Black is a piece up. But the problem is safety of the black king. How would you continue to attack if you had the white pieces? Perhaps pawn takes pawn on g6 comes to mind. Anthony played knight to e8. This is the death blow. f6. If rook takes knight, then Queen to f6, and after rook to g8, h6 is winning for white. So Boris played f6. Pawn takes pawn on f6. King to g8. If knight takes on e8, f7 is winning for white. And if rook takes on e8, the same, f7 is winning for white. After rook to g8, h6. So Boris played king to g8. White played the move and black resigned. The move is knight takes knight. Former world chess champion Boris Spassky resigned. One line goes like this. Saving the knight. Pawn takes pawn on g6. Pawn takes pawn. Bishop takes on g6. Rook takes pawn. Bishop takes rook. Queen to a4 attacking the rook on d1. b3. C takes on b3. Queen to h6. Pawn takes pawn on a2 attacking the rook. Check. King to f8 and there is checkmate in one. Queen to h8. Check. Mate. What a fantastic attack by Anthony Miles, who was not afraid of his opponent. Legendary Boris Spassky. What do you think of this game? That is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.